Warning, the following gameplay you're about to witness is rated mature, 17 and older, for one or more of the following reasons listed. Please enjoy. Hello travelers, welcome back to another episode of Game Time with Movie Man, this guy right here. I'll make sure this is turned away, so it's not too distracting. Well, last left off, we, um, we killed Boulder. Well, holy fuck, we defeated him, and much to his mother's chagrin, uh... She tried to stop us, she reanimated the goddamn giant Thamir, Th Thamir, Th Thamir, anyway. It was a cool battle, we even called the World Serpent in, anyway, that, that's all done. So, now we just need to go to Jotunheim and just deliver those ashes and we'll be all set. And I think we got the crystal now, question mark, so we should be able to go back. Yeah, so let's go back to Brock's shop. I feel like they're going to be setting up for like, uh, am, I, am I fuzzy? Oh, there we go. I feel like they're going to be setting up for like, uh, for a sequel though. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. No. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Nah. <laughs> Why is Odin so desperate to find a way into Jotunheim anyway? He's convinced the giants hold the key to changing his fate when Ragnarok comes. They are the Aesir's <laughs> oldest enemies after all. And it's their army that's supposed to do him in in the end. But more than that, he covets their gifts of prophecy. Oh, he wants to know what they know and see what they see. I bet. So much suffering could have been avoided if his insatiable curiosity was not so much stronger than his wisdom. What do you mean? Ah, remind me to tell you why they call him the Lord of the Hang. No. Mamir's Tales. Odin, Odin's interests in Jotunheim. He fears the giants of Ragnarok and wants their prophecies of the future. Giants of the Pest of Prophecy? Question mark. All right, let's go. Can I talk to you guys? Should I talk to you guys? Probably not much to say. Look, let's just travel. Let's just deliver those ashes. Get it over with. The only possible threats that can stop us now are literally go. like Thor. Yeah. Well, if things work according to plan, <clears throat> <laughs> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. All right. Probably. Yeah, probably. All right, here we go. Like a hundred times the charm. Vanaheim. Oh, my bad. Muselfheim. Wait, where'd it go? Asgard. Whoa, whoa, hang on, what? Helheim, Alfheim, Jotunheim. There we go. And this should do it. My end of the Boy, giants. Ahead. Get ready. Right? Oh, right. Yeah, brace yourself. Got it. Oh? Oh, I right. This doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Because he has both eyes oh, now. I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Oh my god. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> Ready. Whoa! That's unpleasant! Oh no. Now, boy! Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice! We've made it. I'm also glad that he had, he had like must be close. another talk with his son. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. Oh, and there's steps right here. Do we have to climb another peak? Oh, oh, oh! I want, please, before we continue. Sure. What's up, dude? Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight- My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Aww. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. <laughs> Watch the head till we return. Oh no. I can do this. <laughs> oh, no, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ready. Come. Here we go. That's what we worked for. 
Oh shit. Find find Jotunheim's highest peak. Whoa. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> I think we'll see that plank bridge we saw in the visions. So are we just automatically at the highest peak? Okay. Oh shit. So we're we're close, Look. right? We're on the giant's fingers. Oh nice. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. Awesome. Hope nobody follows us through. We're here. <laughs> we did it. It's awesome. We did. We did. We did. My son. We're in Jotunheim, land of the giants. What are you doing? Oh. I have nothing more to hide. <laughs> So much development as a character. Oh, you can stick your out. Trying to get me teared up, you motherfuckers. Damn. That's he <laughs> Doc, that's heavy. This is it. That's a hell of a bridge, too. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. I mean, that's assuming there's anybody or anything left. Anybody here? Damn. This is the final stretch. What is that? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Are those the giants though? Like Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Right. Odin and Thor. Ruining everything for everybody. Yeah. Now I can't go any faster than this for a run. Oop, new lore? What's it say? Midgard was a dream of what could be if we shared and collaborated. Jotnar, Acer, Vanir, Elf, Dwarf, and Mortals, most of all, it was beautiful. But not everyone is capable of sharing. Some believe anything uncontrolled is savage and threatening, and so we were mocked and tricked and used and then slaughtered. Odin and his tribe were barred from our realm, but it was not enough. The wrath of Thor and his terrible hammer thinned our number in Midgard to the brink of ruin. There is no option but to withdraw, while yet any live to do so. Damn. How about this? Huh. Who's the guardian? Hopefully not a final final boss. Become here in peace. <laughs> I should feel them, but oh. I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? There's some reason, I'm sure. We foresee Midgard's fate overrun, a second hell. Neither Odin nor his dead may reach Jotunheim. The ways must be shut. The serpent and the guardian remained. They alone shall keep our hope. When doom befalls the indestructible, only then shall the guardian return. So where's the guardian? What's the guardian? Until then, we await a better world. One without fear, without greed, without war. 
We wait for deliverance and justice. We wait for a champion. We will wait for word that gods grow good. Hope that that word, word gets here soon. One question is answered and two more take its place. Right? It's like lost. Oh. Yeah, that's the way through, obviously. Whoa! Wait! Father! Whoa! Something's happening! Oh, murals! That's our mother! Holy shit! Or my mother. Atreus' mother. It's your axe. It's Muller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. What? She... knew giants? Huh. Apparently. That's us. Oh shit, what? The first time we met the world Oh, he we fulfilled prophecies. But how? Whoa. And our fight with Balder. What? But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. Wow. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But, what does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. Huh. You didn't know. No. She was a giant. Huh. What? I'm a giant. Oh shit! Why didn't she tell us? So he's a god and a giant? Like, that's he's, he's, he's one of those? She sent us here knowing we would find this. Huh. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, uh. not knowing she was only ashes. Oh. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Shit, yeah, right? Come on. We're so close to the end now. That's crazy. We really are close to the end. <laughs> I'm getting worried. Yes. Yes, we are. Oh, shit. So I, I am gonna fall? Scatter her ashes. Oh shit. What? Look, it's mother's. She Aww. was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Kind of said it better myself, boy. I mean, son. You've graduated. Highest peak in all the realms. Shit. Well, this is going to end one of two ways. Hey. Oh, shit. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh my god. All the giants. Slaughtered.
Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. Right. And part mortal. Yeah. Right. You're a mutt. <laughs> I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me Loki. Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. <laughs> she must have called you that to her people. What? But why? <gasps> what? A question for another day. Let us go. Home. No, you're not gonna do that. No. <laughs> Stop. Stop this. What my what? My son is a god of tricks. What? <laughs> Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. What? Oh my god. Complete mother's ashes. Last wish. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? Oh, credits. Holy shit. But That's it. Did she know it was going to be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? Oh, you sons I of bitches. Do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. Oh. No fucking way. Our son's goddamn Loki. You're Loki, dude? It makes sense, because like earlier when we killed Magni and Modi was like, you're gonna be my new brother and all this. A brother so, of, oh. Why'd you want to name me Atreus? No, it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. <laughs> he was a soldier. Oh. A Spartan. The great warriors? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. Hmm. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. Hmm. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow. You actually told a good story. <laughs> we are missed it. Oh my god. Alright, goodbye, Jotunheim. Perhaps we shall see you again. That is, oh my god. Fucking Loki, get out of here. I'm very curious for the future of this series now. <laughs> Damn, well that is the end. That was a hell of a game. As a guy who I hate the original trilogy, like I never even wanted to play it, I just hated it. I understand if you want to go home, but I bet there are still some corrupt developers out there that could be set free. Yeah. Some other help people. 
True. Maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here. Oh, trust me, we have to get all the trophies. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? <laughs> huh. That's a weird Oh name. my god. I'm glad we went with yours. <laughs> my fucking son's Loki. And my ultimate fate is gonna be that of death. Shit. The end shall draw near. Hey, we're back. They just left the head. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. Oh my god. What happened, Lemir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. What? Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, explore with Atreus. Continue exploring, complete dwarven favors, free dragons, travel to Muselfheim, Nilfheim, Find new items in the shop to get powerful equipment that will allow you to defeat all legendary corrupted Valkyries. Location of all corrupted Valkyries have been revealed in your map. I mean, I found one. I'm just gonna find the others. Can I actually, like, f oh, and I can fast travel everywhere now. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, travelers of all ages, thank you so much for watching. This has been God of War. Um, the new reboot game remaster and credits already rolled. So yeah, that, that was that, that was that. Um, I loved it. I really enjoyed that. Uh, as a guy, coming from a guy who as I mentioned a few times in the series, I, uh, I I hate the concept of the original trilogy of God of War just so much because it's just a hack and slash murder fest without consequence. But this adds so much more depth and character to someone who typically would be just one note. Um, it has had so many more layers to it and so much more personality and depth and the idea that the, there were very few cuts, the camera was always following the action and the battles were fun and the combat was great and addictive and it's like equally, it's it's pretty challenging and I'm sure on the hardest difficulty it's even more so, which I'll find out about soon enough, but, and it was a long game, like, like I, this is the 10th session or the 10th time that I've sat down to record only because I would just do a few hours at a time and that's not even counting the time that I would spend, like, doing side quests just to get, like, good armor and weapons. But that was, uh, that's, like, it's a bloody good time. So, yeah, I can't wait to see. I'm, I'm actually very excited for the next God of War game, uh, whenever that may be. Um, very interested. I still can't believe our fucking son. They called you Loki. Like, get out of here. Fucking trickster god? Okay. But I'm sure in the next game there'll be Loki, there'll be... Sure enough, soon enough, I'm sure Kratos will fall as as Atreus will carry up his legacy, and then of course we're gonna probably see Thor and Odin and many more characters. But in the meantime, I love what they do with this game. It had a little bit of everything, and I loved it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of whatever I do. This was my playthrough for Legat of War. Goodbye, travelers.